There may be times when you feel like you have the perfect photograph, but there are still some distracting elements that you'd like to remove. In this photo, I'm going to be using the erase tool to get rid of some of those distractions. I have this great photo of Brandon at the ice cream truck holding a huge cup of ice cream. I really like this image. The focus here is on the ice cream. There are a few things I'd like to adjust to make the photo even better. I'm gonna start out by cropping the image. There's some space on the right here that's a little bit bright and it's pulling my eyes away from the ice cream. So I'll go over to Composition AI and I'm going to click on that top right corner of the image and drag it down. My goal here is to remove the distracting elements on the right as well as center the ice cream in the frame. Once I have it centered, I'll press the return or enter key. The other thing I see in this image that's very distracting is this logo on his shirt. So I'll head over to the erase tool, hover over my image, and I want to increase the size of my brush so it's close to the same size as the logo. I'll use that right bracket key, and then I'll click to drag over the image, then I'll head back to the tool and click Erase. That did a really great job, and now the main focus of this photograph is the ice cream. So let's go ahead and add a few finishing touches. I'll start with the color tool. I really like the color in this photo, but I'd really love to enhance it. So I'll take the saturation slider and move it to the right. You may want to try pushing it pretty far just to see what it does, but you definitely don't want to go all the way or the colors in the photo really start to look unnatural. So I'll pull it back and then to check my work, I'll toggle this tool off and on and that really enhanced the colors. Lastly, I'll go to the creative tools, head down to mystical and take that amount slider and move it to the right. That did a really great job of adding contrast, which helps to darken the background of the photograph. And because our eyes are drawn to the brighter parts of an image, now the ice cream stands out even more. Let's go ahead and toggle the before and after using that backslash key. I'm really happy with this photo. The erase tool did such a great job of removing those distracting elements. So now the focus is on the ice cream.